Hey everybody, welcome to Winter is Taking Forever, Cracks responding to Game of Thrones show. Start with uh, Sansa gets a letter from Littlefinger who is already at um, Mole's town. And she yells at him and that's that's good. I really thought that she was gonna take off her cloak and like yeah, a finger would was... be missing or she'd be covered in scars. Yeah, I thought she was gonna show something and then I was gonna be even more angrier I was, than I yeah. usually am about anything going on with Sansa and Littlefinger and the Boltons. Mm -hmm. But she left with John and Tormund. Are they all going there or do they have I a different I think they're agenda? all just leaving. It's just like they're leaving together and then she's gonna split yeah. off and just be like, all right guys, don't don't mess with Sansa. Yeah. Is Brienne and, and Tormund the new like Ross Rachel situation? I, like, it are needs they... to be, yeah. It's um, that show immediately. That's my favorite thing right now. Yeah, I'm okay with this. We've updated that fan shipping relationship where in one episode Tormund like sexually aggressively eats at Brienne and <laughs> she's, and, and she's like, no, nah, pass. And then today he smiled at her, and I'm uh, I'm really excited about it. It was a, it was a, a nice like we're gonna be on the road together for a while. I just like that he hasn't spoken to her. Yeah, he's just been he's giving so her shy. Eyes and he's just like I don't I don't know what to do. I f the bear. Yeah, but I can't I can't talk to this amazing woman. It's time for everybody's favorite segment. Everybody loves Pike. We did the King's Moot today. <laughs> In King's Moot, we're getting to know Euron a little bit. That's Baylor's brother. He claims the Iron Throne, and they're like, "Fine, you, we all. This is our version of voting." Everyone just started Chanting. shouting Euron. Euron, Euron wins this week for me for um, worst line of dialogue. Every once in a while, someone in the show will say something that is just garbage. And in this one, he goes, "Where, Where are my, my niece, niece and nephew?" And nephew. Let's go oh. murder them. He says, let's go murder them. Let's go murder them. And everyone's like, cool thing to say, bro. Meanwhile, Theon and Yara have stolen all their best ships. Men in the Game of Thrones universe are stupid, and the women are much better rulers. And she could be like, dang, this fucking idiot is going to marry you. Because he thinks his dick is so great. And she's like, I got dicks for days. Look at, look, look, are you, what is <laughs> happening? It's a good segue to Jorah and Dario uh, hanging out with her. And, yeah, and, and Dario just being like, uh, mm -hmm. I'm now third wheel. This yeah. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Another silly moment in the in the show because she was like, Jor, I banished you twice and you came back twice. I can't have you around anymore. I, you, you you can't keep doing this. And He's then like, you just fine. Like, I'm gonna also, die. Like, I also can't actually be around you. And then she immediately <laughs> was like, Oh, go get that fixed and then come back. I need you by my side. I command you to heal yourself. We spent some time with Arya. She's got her mission now. She's been told by Jack and Hagar to kill. The lady in this play, with the threat of if I don't, if you don't do it, we're gonna kill you. Right. Which is, uh, I guess that's a thing. I Anymore. feel like she has the skills. It's just yeah. like, oh, I learned how to poison people here, and fight a little bit better. They also, as far as it's not a great teaching institute. The 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 waif. <laughs> you just don't keeps, like that curriculum. <laughs> no, so the waif just keeps beating the shit out of her, and then saying, "You're not ready." And if I'm Ari, I'm like, "Teach me how to be better at this." It's just like She's I'm not. Like, this isn't helping me. I'm just. I just hate you. So we're gonna check in with with uh with Bran, who's still hanging on that tree, and he he wards into. Did he just have his like little teenage rebel moment of just like I'm just did. gonna touch this tree because I want to. Such a, a dumb, like I rebellious want... thing to do. And the Night King can see him and touches him, and and now this new magic we invented says that oh you're marked. That means he can get into this cave and he knows where you are. It'd be nice before. if they had told him that. Yeah. I feel like you should tell people the rules right. of well, how you're protected. The three-eyed raven just keeps saying, you are not ready. Also, like everyone is not ready for anything and like you've spent too much time here. If I am a powerful tree monster, I'd be like, look, by the way, here are some of the dangers yeah. inherent to this. This is why you need me around and you shouldn't do it on your own. But he also knows everything yeah. too, so maybe he's just like, this is just gonna happen anyway. It doesn't matter what I tell this kid, he's gonna fuck yeah. it up. The biggest thing that the internet is very excited about right now is the the tragic heroic tale of Hodor slash Willis. We find out why Hodor was called Hodor and why he only says Hodor all the time. Hodor! Hodor! And everyone cried and everyone had a moment. Oh, this guy. And it was Didn't emotional. Care. And, and it was a big deal, yeah. and it was very sad. Also, summer. Summer dying is 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 sad. That's a that's a, a, a bummer. So, we also found out in this episode th that those uh, stupid fucking garbage tree goblins created the the White Walkers. That's yeah. You would think if you make a a monster, you would know how to kill it. Yeah, we're these tree goblins, and we made these other different kinds of monsters to fight you. But now we you hate wanna... them. Oh my and bad. Like, all right, if. <laughs> 
We're throwing a lot of magic around. If one of you could just make me walk, I feel like things would be better. We clearly have grenades that we can make out of acorns or whatever. That part of the episode. Predictions, what do you think is gonna happen next um, week's episode? Go. Probably nothing until the very last bit of the episode yeah. again. Something cool and emotional. I feel and like, do you think this uh, Tyrion getting in league with the Red Priestess and the that whole Red God world, you think that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing? I guess, I mean, the Red Priestess, she seemed all about the dragons and and... I have a feeling she's gonna end up following Tyrion. Yeah. I feel like that's that route. I feel like Danny's gonna have some some words when she gets back, because she's gonna come back with a giant Dothraki horde. Mm-hmm. And be like, what the f did you brought slavery back and now we have this, well, you made this the religion? No, this is uh, hey, no fire, fire, fire. But he's gonna be like, but no one's killing each other though. Yeah, until now, and then she just kills everybody. Yeah. Do you oh, think we're Sam? gonna go and back Sam? to Dorne at all? For what? I don't know. They're gonna be someone's Ace in the hole at some point because we know there's gonna be a huge battle this season. Probably varies. Yeah, I mean, like they've they've got to be the secret army that comes to someone's aid, whether it's oh sh**, Yara got the Dorn snakes or Tormund wooed the snakes or someone. Someone is going to get those snakes to get on their side, and then just when we think all hope is lost for either John's army or Danny's army, boom, Dorn, Dorn baby. <laughs> I guess in my head I'm just like I don't I don't care anymore about them. I came in here all gung ho like this is a great episode. I had a good time. This is this is fine. And then just like ten minutes talking to Dan and just going like oh yeah I guess yeah oh yeah oh this is just a sad show. Everything is sad. The world is a tomb. Good night everybody. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that, and let us know in the comments what other segments we should do in the future. This one had predictions, and everybody loves Pike, and whatever else we said, whenever we said it. Um, oh, Pike. Pike. Star, uh, where can everyone find your stuff? Plug your your life. Uh, uh, Twitter, Starline X, uh, and my webcomic, candycomics.com with an I. Candy with an I. Uh, yeah, and I'm... Yeah, I don't I don't know how to self promote. This is just look up my name on Google. Like you'll find my shit. It's fine. Great.